आज की इस वीडियो में हम देखेंगे मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन अबाउट ब्रायोपाइट्स जो कि टीजीटी पीजीटी और डिफरेंट स्टेट एग्जाम्स के लिए बहुत ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है क्वेश्चन नंबर वन एम्ब्रियो इज प्रेजेंट बट ट्रू वस्कुलेचर इज एबसेंट इन दाइलम सियानोफाइटा ट्रेक्योफाइटा ब्रायोफाइटा क्लोरोफाइटा सुप्रेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन थ्री ब्रायोफाइट्स है एम्ब्रियो बट दे हैव नो वस्कुलर टिश्यू क्वेश्चन नंबर टू द यूनिक फीचर ऑफ ब्रायोफाइट्स कंपेरिजन टू अदर ग्रीन प्लांट ग्रोप्स इन दैट they produce spores they lack vascular tissue they lack root their sporophyte is attached to gametophyte so correct answer is option 4 the unique feature of bryophyte is that their sporophyte is dependent on the gametophyte question number 3 in bryophytes the diploid number of chromosomes occurs in gametes spores spores mother cells nuclei of gametes so correct answer is option 3 the spore mother cells in case of bryophytes are diploid question number 4 The plant that is used as a alternative of cotton is sphagnum, funaria, ricea, andrea. So correct answer is option one. Sphagnum moss is used as a alternative of cotton. Question number five. The anthrozoites of bryophytes possesses two flagella, one flagella, multi-flagella, no flagella. So correct answer is option one. The anthrozoites of bryophytes is biflagellate. Question number six. Uh, which of the following is bryophyte? Funaria, Volvox. Chlorella, Spirulina. So correct answer is option one. Funaria is a bryophyte, while the remaining are different types of algae. Question number seven. The group Bryophyta include liverworts and ferns, liverworts and club mosses, mosses and ferns, liverworts and mosses. So correct answer is option four. Bryophytes include liverworts as well as mosses. Question number eight. A leafy non-vascular plant with parasitic sporophyte generation. should be properly classified in thallophyta bryophyta tridophyta spermatophyta so correct answer is option 2 uh, non vascular plant with parasitic sporophyte that is dependent on the gametophyte it is present in bryophytes question number 9 the bryophyta include mosses club mosses spike mosses all of the above so correct answer is option 1 mosses are included in bryophytes question number 10 a leafy gametophytic plant with multicellular rhizoids and sporophyte is differentiated into fourth seta and capsule should belongs to silopsida apaticopsida bryopsida lycopsida so correct answer is option 3 bryopsida have leafy gametophyte and their sporophyte is differentiated into fourth seta and capsule next question ki taraf jane se pehle again meri aap se darkhwast hai ki agar aapne abhi tak is channel ko subscribe nahi kiya to please subscribe kar le Question number 11 Jacketless Archegonia occurs in Ricea Funaria Sphagnum Anthocyros so correct answer is option 4 Anthocyros have jacketless archegonia Question number 12 The bryophytes are differ from the thallophytes in having embryo rhizoids sterile jacket around the sex organs all of the above so correct answer is option 4 bryophytes are different from the thallophytes because bryophytes have embryo they also have rhizoids and sterile jacket around the sex organs is also present Question number 13 The spores do not uh, form protonema but directly grow into a flat branching thallus in liverworts mosses ferns gymnosperms so correct answer is option 1 in liverworts the protonema stage is not formed Question number 14 In bryophyta the simplest sporophyte occurs in Ricea Marchantia Funaria Anthocyros so correct answer is option 1 Ricea has the simplest sporophyte in all bryophytes Question number 15 in which of the following bryophyte the gemmae or gemmules the means of vegetative reproduction is present Ricea Marchantia Sphagnum Anthocyros so correct answer is option 2 Marchantia have gemmae or gemmules that are used for vegetative reproduction Question number 16 A saprophytic bryophyte that is found in the Himalaya region is Sphagnum marchantia purila boxbomia so correct answer is option 4 boxbomia is a saprophytic bryophyte that is found in Himalayan region question number 17 which of the following is example of moss plant funaria ricea anthocyros pelea so correct answer is option 1 funaria is an excellent example of moss plant question number 18 in bryophytes what is absent embryo formation fertilization motile gametes true roots and vascular tissue so correct answer is option 4 true roots and vascular tissue are absent in bryophytes question number 19 in bryophytes the fertilization takes place at low temperature in dry condition in presence of water in all above situation so correct answer is option 3 in bryophytes the fertilization takes place in presence of water question number 20 which statement is true about bryophytes that 
they are non photosynthetic zygote produces gametophyte on germination or spores form gametophyte plant on germination or they have vascular tissue so correct answer is option 3 spore form gametophytic plant on germination this statement is true regarding graphites next question ki taraf jaane se pehle again meri aap se darkhwast hai ki agar aapne abhi tak is channel ko subscribe nahi kiya to please subscribe kar le question number 21 which graphite is of great economic importance in area margentia rishia sphagnum so correct answer is option 4 sphagnum moss is very economically important because it is used to produce peat question number 22 graphites are scyophytes heliophyllous are halophytes are xerophytes so correct answer is option 1 graphites are scyophytes means they are grow in moist and shady places question number 23 which type of fertilization is found in graphite siphonogamous zoidogamous zoidio uh, siphonogamous fertilization is not found so correct answer is option 2 zoidogamy is a type of fertilization that is present in bryophytes question number 24 Mosses are gregarious because they have vascular tissue, they have indirect germination of spores, they have direct germination of spores, they have spore mother cells. So correct answer is option 2. Mosses are gregarious means they are present in different groups uh, because they have indirect germination of spores. Question number 25. Aquatic ancestry of bryophytes is evidenced by their green color, algae-like protonema or many aquatic bryophytes flagellated male gametes so correct answer is option 4 the presence of flagellated male gametes indicates that uh, the bryophytes ancestors were aquatic question number 26 the most sporophyte is differentiated into stem and leaves root stem and leaves rhizoid stem and leaves none of these so correct answer is option 4 most plant is not differentiated into root stem and leaves rather it is differentiated into port seta and capsule question number 27 the oblique septa are found in which part of the most plant? Rhizides of sporophyte, rhizide of gametophyte, leaves, stem. So correct answer is option 2. Oblique septa are found in the rhizide of gametophyte and separate different parts of gametophyte. Question number 28. The leaves of mosses and ferns are analogous and homologous. Analogous but not homologous. Homologous but not analogous. None of the above. So correct answer is option 2. The leaves of mosses as well as ferns are analogous because they have almost similar function but they are not homologous. Question number 29. Which of the following plants are similar to the amphibian animals in requirement of water for fertilization? Option A. Braphyta, Tridophyta, Angiosperm. Uh, option 4 is 1 and 2 both. So correct answer is option 4. Both bryophyte as well as tridophyte they need water for their fertilization. Question number 30. The bryophyte which can absorb water up to 18 times than its weight. Anthocyros, sphagnum, dawsonia, margantia. So correct answer is option 2. Sphagnum moss has ability to absorb water more than 18 times than its weight. Question number 31. In which of the following zygote forms the diploid structure? Thalophyta, bryophyta, algae, Fungi. So correct answer is option 2. In bryophytes, the zygote forms a multicellular embryo that is later developed into sporangium and inside the sporangium, diploid spore mother cells are formed which represents the last stage of sporophytic generation. Question number 32. Bryophytes are first successful land plants, vascular cryptogams, non-vascular cryptogams, vascular embryophytes. So correct answer is option 3. Uh, bryophytes are non-vascular cryptogams because they have no vascular tissue. Question number 33. The sex organs in bryophytes are unicellular and jacketed, unicellular and non-jacketed, multicellular and jacketed, multicellular and non-jacketed. So correct answer is option 3. The sex organs in bryophytes are multicellular as well as jacketed. Question number 34. The fossilized fuel that is obtained from the bog moss is tar, peat, biogas, petrol. So correct answer is option 2. Peat is obtained from the bog moss. Question number 35. Which structure produces the gamete bearing pulp plant of moss? Spore, bud, protonema, zygote. So, correct answer is option 2. A bud that is developed into a gamete bearing plant of mosses. Question number 36. Bryophyta shows an advancement over algae in having multicellular sporophytic generation, having a parasitic sporophyte or having zygotic meiosis, none of the above. So correct answer is option 1. Bryophytes are more advanced than algae because bryophytes have multicellular sporophytic generation. Question number 37. Bryophyta like to grow in moist places because 
due to absence of roots they have to absorb the moisture of the ground option b two male gametes require moisture for swimming option three they do not have waterproof coating of cutin on their aerial surface to prevent the loss of water option four all of the above so correct answer is option four all these characters are true about braphytes that's why they grow in moist places next question ki taraf jane se pehle again meri aap se darkhast hai ki agar aapne bhi tegas channel ko subscribe nahi kiya to please subscribe kar le question number 38 the braphyta are ecologically important plants as they are best producer in nature pioneer in succession on barren plants they are decomposer they are nitrifying plants so correct answer is option two braphytes are ecologically important because they are the pioneer in succession on barren land question number 39 which of the following are saprophytic bryophytes box bomia cryptothallus anthocyros both one and two so correct answer is option four cryptothallus as well as box bomia they both are saprophytic bryophytes question number 40 Which bryophyte indicates algal ancestry of bryophytes? Rhesia, Relia, Anthocyros, Mosses. So correct answer is option three. Anthocyros indicates that bryophytes are originated from algae. Question number forty-one. The leafy gametophyte occurs in liverworts, hornworts, mosses, ferns. So correct answer is option three. Mosses have leafy gametophyte. Question number forty-two. The sporophyte of moss absorb water from the gametophyte with the help of capsule, seta. Fort Hastoria. So correct answer is option three. The sporophyte of most plant absorb water from the gametophyte by means of foot. Question number forty-three. The sporophyte with indefinite growth occurs in liverworts, hornworts, mosses, fern. So correct answer is option two. Hornworts have sporophyte that has indefinite growth. Question number forty-four. The sphagnum may be used as a substitute of absorbent cotton, non-absorbent cotton, plastic. polythene so correct answer is option 1 sphagnum moss can be used as a substitute for absorbent cotton question number 45 the stem and leaves of bryophyte plants are analogous to the stem and leaves of higher plants they are homologous to the stem and leaves of higher plants both analogous and homologous to higher plants none of these so correct answer is option 1 the stem and leaves of bryophytes are analogous to the stem and leaves of higher plants because they have similar function question number 46 the aquatic ancestry of braphyte is best indicated by uh, some braphytes are still aquatic option 2 flagellated male gametes are present option 3 parenchyma in the stem is present all of the above so correct answer is option 2 by the presence of flagellated male gametes it is thought that the braphytes have aquatic ancestors question number 47 the non vascular embryophytes are thallophytes Bryophytes, tridophytes, both one and two. So correct answer is option two. Bryophytes are non-vascular embryophytic plants. Question number forty-eight. The water-conducting tissue in bryophytes is parenchyma, sclerenchyma, tracheids, sieve tube. So correct answer is option one. Parenchyma is a water-conducting tissue that is present in bryophytes. Question number forty-nine. In which of the following elaters are found? Angiosperm, bryophyta. LG bacteria so correct answer is option 2 bryophytes have elaters that are help in dispersal of spores the bryophyta are not tall plants due to absence of meristem absence of vascular tissue presence of root system all of the above so correct answer is option 2 due to absence of vascular tissue the bryophytes are not tall plants question number 51 the first cell of sporophytic generation in bryophyte is spore spore mother cell zygote protonema so correct answer is option 3 zygote is the fast cell of sporophytic generation in bryophyta number 52 rhesia is a bryophyte due to thallite body or it has rhizoids or it has alternation of generation or it has dependent sporophyte so correct answer is option 4 rhesia is a bryophyte because it has a sporophyte that is dependent on the gametophyte question number 53 in which of the following the sporogenous tissue or spore is derived from the amphithecium rhesia margantia rhesiocarpus anthocyros so correct answer is option 4 anthocyros have sporogenous tissue or spores that are derived from the amphithecium question number 54 in braphyta the organs are referred to as leaf like and stem like and not the true leaf and stem because uh, they lack vascular tissue they are non green they do not uh, function as leaf and stem all of the above so correct answer is option 1 due to absence of vascular tissue the organs of bryophytes are leaf like and stem like but they are not true leaf and stem question number 
The structure for the dispersal of spores in Braphyta are elators, pseudo-elators, peristomial teeth, all of the above. So correct answer is option 4, pseudo-elators as well as elators and peristomial teeth. They are the different structure used for dispersal of spores. Question number 56. Oblique septa in resides are the characteristic of liverworts, hornworts, mosses, fern. So correct answer is option 3. Mosses have oblique septa in the resides of gametophyte. Question number 57. In which bryophyte the germination of spore is indirect? Ratia, rhizopus, puxenia, funeria. So correct answer is option 4. Funeria is a bryophyte in which germination of spore is indirect. Question number 58. The leafy gametophyte occurs in angiosperm, tridophyta, bryophyta, gemnosperm. So correct answer is option 3. Bryophytes have leafy gametophyte that is mostly occur in mosses. Question number 59. Male gametes of bryophytes are uniflagellate, multiflagellate, biflagellate, triflagellate. So correct answer is option 3. Uh, biflagellate male gametes are present in bryophytes. The seedless non-vascular plants are angiosperm, gymnosperm, tridophytes, bryophytes. So correct answer is option 4. Bryophytes are seedless as well as non-vascular plants. Question number 61. The rhizides of Hepaticopsida and Anthocerotopsida are multicellular and branched, unicellular and unbranched, unicellular and branched, multicellular and unbranched. So correct answer is option 2. The rhizides of order Hepaticopsida as well as Anthocerotopsida, they are unicellular as well as unbranched. Question number 62. Sterile jacket cells around the reproductive cells is a characteristic of LG bryophyta, fungi, thallophyta. So, correct answer is option 2. Bryophytes have reproductive cells that are surrounded by jacket cells. 3. The vascular tissue is absent in LG, fungi, and tridophytes, thallophytes, and bryophytes, bryophytes, and tridophytes, angiosperm, and gymnosperm. So, correct answer is option 2. Thallophytes and bryophytes they have no vascular. टिश्यू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन की तरफ जाने से पहले अगेन मेरी आपसे दरख्वास्त है कि अगर आपने अभी तक इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया तो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब कर लें क्वेश्चन नंबर 64 द स्पोरोफाइट ऑफ ब्राफाइट इज पैरासाइटिक ऑटोट्रॉफिक सेप्रोफाइटिक सेमी पैरासाइटिक और पैरासाइटिक सो करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन 4 द स्पोरोफाइट ऑफ ब्राफाइट इज सेमी पैरासाइटिक और पैरासाइटिक बिकॉज़ इट इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन गैमेटोफाइट फॉर फूड Question number 65. The non-vascular land plants are called bryophytes. So correct answer is option 1.